During a solar eclipse, the moon's orbit carries it exactly between the Earth and the sun so that the moon's shadow falls on the Earth. And as you are on the Earth looking up, you see the moon partially or completely covering the bright surface of the sun. A lighter shadow sort of spreads out wider across the surface of the Earth. And so if you're in that wider partial shadow, you'll see the moon partially covering the surface of the sun, and we call that a partial solar eclipse. A small area on the Earth is where the, the moon's tapering shadow hits the surface of the Earth. And so to see a total solar eclipse, you need to be in that small region on the Earth that moves quickly across the face of the Earth. The moon's orbit, sometimes we draw it as a circle, but really it's kind of a, a squashed circle. We call it an ellipse. Here, when the moon is farther from the Earth, it appears smaller in the sky, and it's unable to completely cover the bright surface of the sun. And that's when we get that ring of fire, that bright annular solar eclipse. Of the three types of solar eclipses, you're most likely to see a partial solar eclipse. If you're living in your hometown, maybe once every few years, a partial solar eclipse may be visible to you. The least common, it's probably pretty much a tie between an annular and a total solar eclipse. You're very unlikely during your lifetime to happen to see one in your hometown. They occur about every two years somewhere on the Earth, but in your hometown, it's unlikely to be happening. Total solar eclipses are really exciting for a number of reasons, mostly because it gets dark out during the middle of the day and birds may start tweeting and going to bed, cows may go home to the barn. It just feels like it's time to go to sleep. It feels cooler out, but the really interesting thing is when the sun is totally blocked by the moon for just a few minutes, you can see around the sun a soft glowing halo called the corona. It's always there, but it's usually blocked out by the bright blue of the sky. And so it's only during a total solar eclipse for a few minutes that you get to see the corona. So it's really exciting.